and earth shall pass away, but God's word shall never pass away. To my Christian brothers and sisters in all the world, I am Renevo. My country is the beautiful island of Madagascar. My story is true, and it must be remembered. Remembered not because of the sorrow and the suffering, though many have sorrowed, and many have suffered for many reasons, but because of the glory. Not my glory, nor ours, but the glory which is for God alone. It was to have been the concluding day of my life. Mine, together with those other Christians who had discovered that in life or in death, the word of our God can never be destroyed, never. Yes, Uncle. Fear is in my mind, but peace is in my heart. Pray for me. I was afraid, yes. Yet there was peace in my heart. I thank God that day for many things. I thanked Him for my mother, for her faith, her love, her teachings and example. What a wall of strength she was to me. And I thanked my Lord for Rasalama, that from childhood I had been privileged to know this great woman. You're only a child now, Renevo, but every day I pray that you will learn more and more of our wonderful Savior. Wife, daughter. Right here. Renevo, your uncle is here. Where did my favorite girl get this orange? Hurry! Smallpox has struck the next village. We must offer a sacrifice to the spirits. Come on, right now. How it tore the very soul of my mother, tested her faith. Would I follow the ways of my father and his brother, the sorcerer? Or would I, too, become one of those who, as did she, walk in God's way? been born, men from a far country came to our beautiful island, whose ways were new and strange. They printed books. They printed the book, the book that speaks God's words to the ears of men's hearts. 
Soon, men all over the island were reading God's word. Slowly, but certainly, like seed planted and watered in the earth, and warmed by the sun, hearts began to change. People destroyed their treasures of darkness, their idols and fetishes. Your Highness, our most gracious Queen, your humble chief counselor is pleased to announce that all From is ready for the annual festival. At the I remembered our great Queen Renavalona. Carefully, so very cleverly, her chief counselor began to prepare the Queen's mind for suspicion of the Christians. When someone becomes a Christian, he becomes an entirely new person inside. He's not the same anymore. A new life has begun. All these new things are from God who brought us back to himself through what Jesus Christ did. Has anyone something you wish to share of what the Lord has done for you? My heart is full of praise. God has truly made me a new person. I, Rasha Lama, once such a hateful person, so unkind to my servants. And now we're members of the same family. Truly, our Lord is king above all kings. We must speak with you about something that is extremely important. Can it be postponed? I don't believe so. It is very important. I bring some very disturbing news, Your Majesty. It may even prove to be a threat to your throne. Although we hope not, Your Majesty. We certainly hope not. What is it? Your Highness knows of the visitors who have come from far away and who tell our people of a new religion. And I understood no one showed interest in this new religion. So it was at first, Your Highness, but this is changing. I've learned that even members of your royal court have become interested. Yes, members of the royal court had become interested. Among them was a young courier from the palace. He was the cousin of my mother's good friend, Rasalama. Let us hear the word of God. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. You have to stop. For what reason? We do nothing that's wrong. The queen isn't blind. She knows there are men in her court who will do anything to take advantage of others. She herself does not want to cause trouble. But I fear the chief counselor is convincing her that you Christians, in turning from the religion of our country, also threaten the throne. That is not true. The Bible teaches Christians to obey those in authority. Much older now, experienced in my own heart the conflict rising in our country. I saw the love of Christians like Rasalama. I watched the courage of my mother, her love and her patience, as my father became more and more antagonistic. It greatly impressed me to see the numbers grow of those who had turned from the old ways to follow the living God. Though they knew persecution could break out at any time, their courage, like their numbers, seemed only to grow stronger. And desire, like a great hunger, came to my heart. I too wanted to experience this truth, this joy. But I was afraid, 
oh so afraid. Rasha Lama, who is of the royal family, has become one of the strongest leaders in the Christian movement. She claims, Your Highness, to be loyal to you. Why not test their loyalty? <laughs> As Queen Renava Lona approached our village, the Christians, unaware of her nearness, gathered to worship. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul and all your mind and your neighbor as yourself. My dear uncle, a good man, even though a sorcerer, was one of those who came out to greet the queen. He was never seen with the Christians, yet, unknown to me, conflict also raged in his heart. Not so my father. He completely rejected the light of God's word. The queen is coming. Get ready. Hurry up. The queen is coming. Get ready. Hurry up. coming. What should they do? Turn from the presence of their lord and go out and bow before the queen? They respected her as their leader, but Jesus Christ was their lord. They continued their worship. What is that? She hears it. It's working. It's as I said, Your Highness. The Christians obeyed the Queen's command. They were not to gather in their public places for worship. God's word teaches submission to those in authority. It frustrated my father. Like some of the others, he thought that the Queen's edict would silence and discourage the Christians. Forbidden to worship in public, they began meeting in secret. We must never forsake our faith, remembering the admonition of your word. For to me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. The faith would not die. How could it? It is eternal life. You must beware. What's wrong? The Queen continues to hear of Christians who disobey her edict. We try not to disobey, but our loyalty to God must come before everything. There is talk of death to the Christians. How is it with your soul, my cousin? Your faith is impressive, but I don't think I could ever have the courage to become a believer. Our Christ will give you enough courage, but first you have to believe in him. But suppose you face execution. Will you then trust in Christ? Oh, my wonderful God, I await with joy the first glimpse of your face. I thank you for the privilege of giving my life as a witness for your glory.
The death of Rafa Lama, our first martyr in Madagascar, caused many more to become Christians. God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Your Honor! What did you find? We are convinced the Christian church is growing, Your Honor. Uh-huh. And what do you suggest we do? It's this book. This book. The Bible. You must convince the Queen to have all Bibles destroyed. Destroy all the Bibles? There were only a few in existence. It seemed a master stroke. Do you want me to put you out of the house, sell you as a slave? Tell me where you hide that thing. And many more Bibles were destroyed. But, thank God, not all. What's going on? Those Christians were caught praying. They're going to poison them. I wish to speak with you tonight about the marks of a Christian. Even in these days of persecution, it must be known of all men that we are Christ's people. Always be full of joy in the Lord. I say it again, rejoice. Let every one of you see that you are unselfish and gentle in all things you do. Remember that the Lord is coming soon. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God your needs and don't forget to thank Him for His answers. If you do this, you will know God's peace, which is far more wonderful than the human mind can understand. His peace will keep your thoughts and your hearts quiet.
Days I watched, my mind so full of questions. I also had my first questions about my uncle. Could it be my uncle, like me? Oh, how I wanted that very day to open my heart to Jesus Christ. But I was so afraid. will give you a clean heart. Oh, Rafaravavi, I want to believe, but I am afraid. Even as you bring your sins to Christ, you may also bring your fears to him. He will give you courage. Rafaravavi, you must be careful. My father tries to compel me to tell him where the Christians worship, but I tell him nothing. But you're not a believer. I am young. I do not want to die. But until you are prepared to die, you are not prepared to live. Are you ill, Renibo? You have been quiet for days. I am going to the place of secret worship, Renibo. Please, come with me. It's so seldom your father is away on business, so I can go. Answer me! To the far Bobby's. <laughs> so you are going to Rafaravavi's house to read the Bible and pray. You'll find no Bible at Rafaravavi's. She has been thrown in jail. And so would you be if I hadn't protected you. You must stop this worship and stop it now. If either of you so much as speaks God's name, I will kill you. There was fear in my heart, yes. Spiritual hunger was now greater than mortal fear. Hey, where are the fetishes? I have none. You can't pronounce a curse with your bare hands, my brother. I cannot pronounce any curse at all. What are you looking at? My new brother. Come here. Come on up here. This man is my brother. For many months, I have been troubled. I have watched the Christians. Their words troubled me greatly. Then a few days ago, you had me give poison to three slaves. They were found praying together. This man was one of them. He alone did not die. I was deeply moved by his courage, his faith. For many nights, I could not sleep. I tried to practice my magic, but I could not. At last, I went to this man, this, this slave. He has shown me the way to faith. He has shown me the way to the true God. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Christ died for our sins. It's true, Renivo. Even as you bring your sins to Christ, you may also bring your fears to him. God will give you a clean heart. He will give you courage. Oh, 
only we remain. So it was, only a short time afterwards, after I too had openly proclaimed my faith, that I was privileged to stand with my uncle at the martyr's cliff. Renivo, are you afraid? I am privileged to die for Jesus. girl's too beautiful to die. Let me have her. What will you pay for her? I will pay whatever price you ask. No, no, let me die. Let me die, Uncle. Go take her. She's all yours. <laughs> be calm, Renivo. We must not betray our witness. Ask God for courage courage to live for Christ or to die for him to die for Christ or to live for him at whatever cost in my case the slave of a wicked man oh, only God could understand how great the cost Oh God, may our lives, our suffering, our death, let everything be to your glory. May your living book touch every life, 